Hello friends, I am Dr. Brajesh. I am Senior Interventional Cardiologist in Fortis Hospital, Navi Mumbai. Now, we are going to talk today on an important topic which is known as complex angioplasties. Now, as you all know, what is angioplasty? Now, angioplasty is a procedure by which we open the blocks in the heart. Now, this is a very well-known entity and almost all hospitals who have a cardiology department, they are doing it. Now this complex angioplasty is a term which is used for a procedure which is preferred only when there is a problem or the patient does not want a bypass to be done. For example, the routine angioplasties, the blocks are very straightforward, they don't take much time and they are easy to do. But a complex angioplasties requires some extra efforts. For example, the gadgets which we use in doing complex angioplasties are different and are not available in many of the centers. There are special types of stents available for these. There are special types of imaging techniques. For example, you have ultrasound images, CT scan. Similarly, we have ultrasound inside the pipes of the heart. We call it as an intravascular ultrasound. We have OCTs. OCT means there's a CT scan which is done inside the pipes. You can imagine how the small the probe will be so that it goes inside the pipe of your heart and take the images. We have special types of stents uh, which are very advanced stents. They can, they, can have, they can take multiple turns. They are very flexible. They can be fit into various sizes. So, with the instruments, with the special types of stents and not to mention the drugs. There have been a lot of advancement in the, in the type of medicines which are required for cardiac patients. We have drugs which is almost 0% failure. We have drugs like Ticagrelol which has been recently introduced in the market which has reduced the incidence of sudden reblockages of stents drastically. So with all these three facilities available, we are able to do more and more complex angioplasties. Now, who are these patients who wants this complex angioplasties? Now, we, need, we should understand that or who are the patients where we advise them a complex angioplasty? See, most important is also a patient preference. Now, the, the bypass operation is a major surgery. As we all know, it requires thoracotomy. They cut open the chest wall and they do major surgery and many a time patient has to stay 7 to 10 days in the hospital. And there are associated complications of bypass as well. So many of the patients, they refuse to undergo a major CABG. They very clearly said that we don't want bypass to be done irrespective of the age. So in that conditions, we are left with only options of doing a complex angioplasties. And with the gazettes and medicines and stents available, we are, off, we are very most of the time able to give a very good results. Now, second are the groups in which are extremes of ages. For example, a very young age, 25, 30 year old man or somebody who is 85 to 90 year old man. Now, these two groups, the younger person, they always wanted to avoid a bypass operation because of the cosmetic issues. And you know, once a bypass is done, redoing a bypass also always a problem. So most of the people wanted first procedure to be done as an angioplasty later on in the life if something goes wrong they can either replan a angioplasty or a bypass elderly people above 75 80 years bypass is always a high risk because the body is tired their organs may not be working up to the mark so in that patients we often advise angioplasty as the preferred choice Yes, of course, we do that after discussing with the patients, with the family members and uh, the whole of the people who are involved. We, we have a heart team approach where a surgeon, a cardiologist and the patient and the patient relatives sit together and have a combined decisions. Now, with, with this uh, complex angioplasties available in a center like what we have, um, very often we are able to treat patients who have avoided um, any major uh, surgery for last many years they are struggling they have a lot of morbidity they have severe angina or they are bedridden and they were not getting their procedure done only in fear of or either they are inel ineligible for a major uh, surgery a very important group of patients whom, in which this complex angioplasties we are performing is the patients with multiple comorbid conditions for example, we have a patient who had a cancer. 
now doing a surgery or a bypass in a patient who already had a you know cancer is always an issue and doing a procedure which lasts uh, 30 45 minutes or one hour and finishing off and so discharging the patient in two days is always is well accepted by the patient so with this uh, we are able to cover many of the patients who whom the revascularization or angioplasty or bypass were required and previously these patients were left over and were not getting treated properly so my only advice to you is that uh, with the advancement in cardiology we have everything to offer to almost all the patients there is nothing which is impossible in cardiology the only thing you need to have a good center a good cardiologist a center where a facility is like good imaging techniques for example IVAS, OCT things like this are available and uh, you will be treated in a better condition thank you very much for a patience listening thank you